Well, a good Friday afternoon to you. It's Dan. I want to welcome everyone to my home in the sticks and I hope everybody's having a good Friday. But over here in East Central Mississippi, I'm here to tell you it is in the upper 50s right now. A little chilly over here. Before we get started on today's video, I always like to say that if you are new to the channel, I want to welcome you. And if you're returning, just to see what old Dan's got going on over her. I show sure enough thank you for coming back. But what I want to share with you and y'all today is I have completed one of my tasks that I wanted to get accomplished this year on the homestead. Give me a second, we finna walk over yonder, and I'm finna show you. <laughs> Dan, what you done accomplished? Well, at the beginning of the year, I said I have a bunch of stuff that I want to complete or try to complete on the homestead in the year 2021. But Mother Nature just hasn't been, hasn't been allowing me to do very many things so far. It's nice and sunny today. Wednesday, it was awful. Rain, rain, and more rain. We're not really expecting any rain, any more rain, until Thursday of next week. So that's a good thing. Everything's drying up. But enough of the blib blabbing. Let me show you. Look at there. I had a whole bunch of work that I had to do on this chicken coop. Yeah, I know y'all wanting to get out, but that's y'all gonna have to stay in there for a little while. What I did was I had to actually take this whole front of this coop uh, off. There's all of the wood and the old frame, door frame sitting over there. I need to clean all this up. But all of that wood uh, has started to rot. So I had to fix the whole front of the coop. And I'm going to say after 15 years, this is the only thing that I have done to the coop so far structurally. And what I had to do was I actually had to sink a new pole. Oh, y'all get in there. Go ahead. Had to sink a whole new pole. I used my post hole diggers and I actually have this, this pole, four inch pole sitting in the ground, three feet. And I hand tamped all the dirt around the pole. So it's, it's pretty dang solid. And I had to replace all of these beams up at the top to accept the wire for my predators took a bunch of measurements and I actually fabricated another door. This door is a little bit stronger than the last one. And all of this stuff is made out of, I utilized all reclaimed wood for the front, the panels down at the bottom, reused all of the same wire. It's nice and tight now. And to be honest with you, I reused all of the screws that I pulled out to put the new stuff on. And again, that's nothing but reclaimed wood for the front. <laughs> what y'all doing? I know y'all liking the new door. The door is made out of all reclaimed wood. And what I did was I braced it this time on all four corners. I put some braces and a brace across. So it's, it's a sturdy door and it's going to last hopefully another 10 years. Reuse the same hinges, same screws. <laughs> and I finally got this fixed. There are a few more things that I need to do with the coop. I actually want to expand the coop, but that may be later on down the road. But this was a big thing that I had to do. It took me about four or five hours yesterday doing this because I'm doing this by myself. And yeah, holding the pieces up, you know, using the knee, trying to hold it while you screw it. Yeah. So it turned out real good. I'm liking it. The chickens like it, and it just looks more visually appealing. The only bad part about taking on a project like this, especially with a do-it-yourself homemade chicken coop, is everything's attached to one another. So I literally had to take the whole front of it apart and then rebuild it and put it back together. But I think it turned out good. So I can go ahead and check off the chicken coop off the list of to-do things. Um, I still have a little bit more work to do on it. I have a whole bunch of wood and scraps that I need to pick up. 
some of it I'll throw in the uh, wood burner maybe but the rest of it because it, it rotted out pretty good the rest of it I'll just throw on a burn pit over yonder and yesterday uh, my buddy came over and I went out to his house uh, about a week ago or maybe a couple three four days ago and he was like damn reckon you can use that right there what that is is a big old water trough that he had on his farm doesn't use it anymore because it's got a lot of rust holes in it so it doesn't hold water and he was just going to get rid of it he was like reckon you could use it for something oh yeah i can use that for something so when that time comes i'm gonna take y'all along i think y'all kind of know what i'm gonna do with it might be a larger version of that but what I'm wanting to do on that is, and I give you all a little, a little spoiler, what I want to do with that is I want to turn that into a comfrey bed. There's going to be nothing but comfrey in it. And we're going to base it off the, uh, the hugo culture method. It's going to be nothing but comfrey. So that's going to be a big old comfrey bed. That's what I'm talking about. Reuse, repurpose if you can. So that's what I wanted to share with you and y'all today. Got one of my tasks completed that I've been wanting to do for a while now. Finally got around to doing it. It's not raining. We have some really nice weather now. Hopefully everything will dry out and I can cut more grass. So again, I hope everybody's having a good Friday and I hope everybody stays safe this weekend amid this crisis that we still have going on. If you uh, like this video, go and give it a thumbs up. They help. If you haven't subscribed to the Home of Six channel, Lord of Mercy. Y'all need to come on over give old Dan a look because I'm always doing stuff. With that being said, you know it's coming down right for show enough. Always going to say it. Don't let nobody dull your shine. Not me, nobody. You showing sure off, get your shine on. It's important. And Dan will see you and y'all in the next video.